हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट द कटिंग फ्लूड द कटिंग फ्लूड इज ए सब्सटांस विच इज अप्लाइड टू ए टूल ड्यूरिंग ए कटिंग ऑपरेशन टू फैसिलिटेट द रिमूवल ऑफ चिप्स एंड इंक्रीज द टूल लाइफ द कटिंग फ्लूड इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय अनदर नेम दैट इज द कूलेंट नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज द फंक्शंस ऑफ कटिंग फ्लूड द कटिंग फ्लूड परफॉर्म वेरियस फंक्शंस लाइक to decrease the wear and tear of the tool and increase the tool life next one to improve the surface finish and machinability here the machinability is the is with which a metal can be machined permitting the removal of metal with a satisfactory finish at the low cost now next one is the to provide lubrication effect to the tool workpiece and chips now next to protect the finished surfaces from the oxidation and corrosion now next one is the to minimize the friction at the mating surfaces and thus prevent rapid increase of the temperature now next one is the to wash away the chips scale and dust from and in between the working surfaces now next one is the property of the cutting fluid property of the cutting fluid there are the various properties of the cutting fluid now first one is the it should be non corrosive next one it should be chemically stable next one is the it should have a high flash point flash point is the lowest temperature at which a liquid can gives is of vapor to form an ignisible mixer in the air near the surface of the liquid the lower the flash point then it is easier to ignite the mixer in this case it is just ignite the material but not continue to to burn that material now next one is the it should cause no skin irritation next one it should be low priced and economically in cost next it should have a low viscosity it should be suitable for a variety of the cutting tools it should not deteriorate on storage next it should not have any adverse effect on operator tool workpiece and machine and the last one is the it should be readily available in qualities required for the use now next one is the type of the cutting fluid now we move to the type of the cutting fluid now types of cutting fluid we are having the different type of cutting fluid like neat cutting oils soluble oils synthetic fluid semi synthetic fluid minerals cutting fluid or oil chemical additive oils sulfurized mineral oils chemical compound now we explain one by one the first one is the neat cutting fluid these or neat cutting oils the these oils are not mixed with water for the cutting operation because in this case or we can say that the neat cutting oils is a blend of a number of different type of mineral oils together with additives for the extreme pressure application the main main ad, advantage of neat cutting oils are their excellent lubricating properties now next one is the soluble oil second one is the soluble oil the these are the compounds of mineral soil and the emulsifying base when mixed with water emulsifying base causes the formation of oil water emulsion water you know very well that water has an excellent cooling property and the oil provide the lubrication and corrosion resistance in case of the grinding especially we are using the a small percentage of oil now next one is the synthetic fluid these fluids contain no oil but are mixture of chemically dissolved in water water to give a lubricating and anti corrosion property again we define that is as per name 
it clears that synthetic fluid these fluid contains no oils but are the mixture of chemical dissolved in water to give the lubricating and anti corrosion property these are basically used in case of the grinding operation and they are easily mixed with water and synthetic fluids gives is excellent rust, rust control properties now next one is the semi synthetic fluid as we have discussed earlier in case of the synthetic fluid these fluids do have small amount of oil emulsified in water as well as dissolved chemicals these but these are not true emulsion because these that is the semi synthetic fluids are recently developed or we can say that the these fluids are recently developed cutting fluids now the main as a advantage of semi synthetic fluid is to increase the control of the rust and it is safer to use for the machine workpiece and operator now next one is the next cutting fluid is called mineral cutting oil these are the compounds of one or more mineral oil fatty oils or fatty acids the minerals cutting oils are used in some light machining operation now the fatty oils that is both the type both animal and vegetables are used in combination with mineral oil now next one is the chemical additive oils chemical additive oils the mainly the sulfur and chlorine is used to increase the lubricating and cooling qualities of the cutting oils also they provide the anti weld property to the cutting oils now next one is the sulfurized mineral oils these oils minimize tearing and rough finishing that is caused by the built up edges the built up edge is a welding defect you know very well about the built up edge now they are commonly used for the machining of tough low carbon steel now next one is the that is the last one that is the chemical compound the chemical compounds which are mainly rust inhibitors such as sodium nitrate mixed with a high percentage of water are favored as a coolant especially in case of the grinding operation because you know very well the water serve a good coolant now that is from the type of the cutting fluid